I want to hear you, the people of TG, in any of your games, who has been the biggest <laughs> ever witnessed. OP. <laughs> <laughs> I present to you Legbeard. Female. Fat. Never shaved. You know that old thread where the chick posted that she didn't change her pad or panties during her period? She did that. Oh, <coughs> see, that's gagging material. <laughs> Stank. Like, made me vomit smell. Lived in her parents' garage apartment. That apartment didn't even have drywall. Kept four dogs that were rescues. Reed pulled off the street. Jesus. Never took them to see a vet, ever. Never bothered to train them. Just let them shit on the floor. Also, no aircon. Furry. Wanted my help building her Nine Tails fur suit. Why is it not shocking? Why is no. it never shocking when it comes to fur? Lesbian. Despite being a kissless virgin. Never held a job for more than a month. Spent all her time writing... Yo... Mm. Um, I believe yeah, Yawa. Is, um, Weeb. Porn or something. Oh, I don't know. Yawa slash fan fiction. Hold on, hold on, let's let's then guard them. Yes, there's uh, most certainly gay porn right there, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly Naruto Harry Potter crossover. Demanded we play RPGs five days a week, nine to twelve hours at a time. Would attempt to pout, cry, and bitch whenever games didn't pander to her or anything didn't go her way. She was already part of the group when I joined. After a week, I said. Hey guys, maybe we kick her out? She's not exactly the most healthy person to be around. I have no idea why they tolerated her for so long. Someone here can probably one-up this one, though. I don't know. I that, don't know, that sounds that's pretty, pretty, pretty mm. That's pretty bad. Like, yeah. However, you know, one thing I have noticed is it doesn't matter, male or female, a neckbeard is always a sense of entitlement. Always. It's always. always. The sense of entitlement is a defining trait of a neckbeard, a neckbeard. and zero self-awareness. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know what you think the defined tweet of a neckbeard is down below. Owns a channel called Neckbeardia. <laughs> <laughs> the people I hate the most is the par gaming munchkin, which I happen to have in my main grip, unfortunately. I could live with the fact that he doesn't give a shit about the game world and just wants to kill and loot shit, but the bastard gets angry at others for how they decided to play, even if it doesn't affect him has a high ego because his min-maxing throws the game balance off for the rest of the party, so he just stomps things all the time, and worst of all, abuses game mechanics and rules only to call other people metagamers. Oh, don't even pull that stuff. And when somebody has a genuine reason to be upset at something, he tries to downplay it and claims he is an issue also, even though he was doing just fine the entire game. Ugh. People like that need to get... <laughs> What's that Spongebob mean? I... I, 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 I am <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Join new group as the GM. Their last one left them. That was a red flag, but I was looking for a group, and at least they weren't local game store troglodytes. Start off a fairly generic adventure to try and take the group's pulse, as it were. Drop several different possible initial quests, since I'm not sure which one they'd be more interested in. An argument breaks out as to which one they should go after. Barden, one of the players, drops his pants, whips his dick out onto the table, and says that since he has the biggest pecker, his turn, they're all going to follow his rip. Wait, this guy's fing beast? What are you talking about? This does ironically settle the argument, as I tell them I'm not fucking playing with that level of pervert, and they can have their own game without me. <laughs> First game, session zero, whips dick out and slams it on table. Me, I big, we play me. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I think that's more funny than anything, to be honest with you. <laughs> hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just want to talk to you about our new affiliate, Reroll. Reroll is a D&D 5th edition character builder app. Now, everyone needs a character sheet app for a tabletop game, but what makes Reroll stand out above all the rest is its character art. I personally find the character art really, really cool. It has this beautiful retro pixel art aesthetic and they are continually adding new races and items so you can customise it whatever way you want. They currently have 14 supported races, over 150 weapons and over 400 pieces of armour you can mix and match from to really make your character come to life. And the best part, 
You can have your own little cute companion, like a little baby penguin, a flying kitty, a stupid looking pug, or my personal favourite, a little corgi. And the best thing about Reroll, it has a free version with limited character art, so you can try before you buy and see if you like it or not. We personally think it's an amazing app that will just improve your overall enjoyment of tabletop role-playing games. Reroll is on Apple, Android, Desktop, and if you use our coupon code NECKBEARDIA at checkout, you get 10% off. It's a great affiliate that we think you guys will love, but enough of that. Let's get back to the video. Massive ham beast. He also despises me and is being passive aggressive to me the whole fucking time. She plays occasionally, but has no interest at all in anything, including her own children. <laughs> what? <laughs> Smells like cat piss. Sardo bitch refuses to be in character the entire fucking session. Plays on PSP and is a giant. What year was this I don't PSP? know, playing on PSP. Keeps demanding to do everything she wants to do in-game on risk of forcing my friend to sleep on the couch. Oh, wait, is this, like, is this like his friend's like wife or girlfriend oh, or something? Jesus. This is in front of all of his friends too, so fuck this bitch. The party consists of five people, including me, being unintentionally swept into the game. She has a standard, terrible, Seth Roth, Gary Stu character. I'm going to assume it's just anime then. Yeah. Everyone else has good characters, so I really don't mind. I have never been wrong my entire life, and everyone else agrees on that. <laughs> what? Okay, well. <laughs> Literally berating when she has a bad role, or she says she can't do something absolutely retarded. Which is all the time, of course. She starts shipping both our characters together. Wait, what? Blatant s fetish. Uh, Encouraging pooping crystals. What, Poop what, crystals. What, what, are, what are they? I don't know. Is I don't want to know. It, it, I, no, no. Is it just fiber? No. <laughs> <laughs> she laughs her ass off. I begin shitting my ass off. Pell, god of the volcano, has claimed my rectum. Can't argue with that, though her expression doesn't lighten. Yes, I'm done. Was confused as fuck. No space ghosts. Even if they searched oats to coast. Know what I mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Some poor innocent sap asking a normal question. Whisk away instantly in the tide. Landwheel politely requests that he take her greasy little gnome chode and jam it up the physical ass of Mr. F My face when. What was that post? I don't know what that was about. What that was, was a fucking <laughs> roller coaster ride, that. I have no idea what them last few guys were about. I have were no about idea. Um, if you could let us know in the comments, I would. Really, that would be <laughs> decipher. Great. Please decipher for us, because I think we kind of lost it there, but good post. Tell me down. Be part of group for a couple of years. Really enjoying the game. Decide to run something to give regular DM a break. Every session bitches about calls, tries to backseat DM by sending me texts, goes against the rest of the party and tries to make enemies of every potential ally. Sulks for days after, but keeps coming back. Like, the like if they don't like it that much, just f***ing leave. But the guy was trying to be, do something nice. Nice. Like, you know, like, it is very hard to find a, a DM replacement. Yeah. If you don't have a DM, you're just not playing the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Someone's got to be a DM. And like, you know, not everyone enjoys it. So yeah. if someone gives you the chance to... Why get on? I don't know. Like, f whatever, you know. Stupid f***ing fur f Wanted to make a monk barbarian in 3.5. Minimax to hell. Wanted to wave LA because monster hit dice are basically dead weight. Asked to explain his origins of his level 14 character he wanted to play. And he says, He just doing what he does out in the desert. <laughs> what? Acts like a huge d when that idea is shot down. Proceeds to make an entire snowflake fur f world where his Mary Sue original characters all start at level 20 and have millions of gold worth of magic items yet just sits around in a basement all day and runs a faux adventure guild sort of built. Fucking far, he's like, just, no. Has level 40 world ending big bad evil guy with millions of gold of magic items and seven contingent castings of wish if he is morally wounded and is a vampire lord. What? But his Mary Sue's don't go and fight it because that's the job for the hero, the actual PCs. Never sees anything wrong with this. All of his original characters sound like he does, with slang and memes and generally shitty dialogue to be edgy and cool. He ropes a 16 year old furry to playing it for erotic roleplay and grooming purposes before going over to the guy's address to have sex. Oh sweet Jesus. This is why we don't trust furries. Like, 
Okay, well, I'll take a better turn off the ant. Like, fuck. I, you know, okay, look, he's better for cringe or, you know, whatever. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, um, ah. Also a pedophile. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, next post, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Currently sitting outside of my gym waiting for the rush to die down a bit, so I figure I may as well introduce the story of Tiny. B19. Move from Texas to North Georgia. Find local game stores since an area. Places next to a Hobby Lobby and across the street from a Pizza Hut I work at. First day of going in, see War Machine boxes. 8th edition had just came out a few months earlier and I wasn't a fan, so I decided to give War My Hordes a try. Pick up a starter box for Mark III of Cador. As I'm walking out of the store, this god awful smell strikes me. So bad, I literally gag as it's a mix of rot and burned rubber. I see this man wearing a tie-dye t-shirt with his fat face on it. Wait, with his own fat <laughs> face on it? Well, was it like Steve-O? <laughs> this is you wearing your merch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only wear it for there's no washing. Right? <laughs> when you got like, t-shirts, okay. Literally doing the beast face, <laughs> but with long, greasy hair. Stops me as I'm trying to leave. <laughs> what does that mean? Huck, huck. Huck, huck. <laughs> my three Denny's will crush your Kadorians. Okay. <laughs> Come back a week later. Two warjacks painted and based. Caster assembled. Nobody there to teach me how to play. I ask the store manager if he knows when people usually come in to play. Before I go on, I want to make it clear I was not aware that Warm Hordes was dead and dying at this point. That smell. <laughs> Standing up. The man from the other day introduces himself as Tiny. Look at the store manager to see if this is some sort of joke. Tiny is basically an unpaid employee here who teaches people new games. Alarm bells going off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is, yeah, you know what that is. Before I can escape the second coming of Luke, champion of Nurgle. Next time we'll go, we did a video on it in text speech. Pretty good, we might lead you it. I am sat down at this table that is covered with cardboard terrain. Tiny pulls out two plague marines covered in black primer. Denigra. Suddenly his comment from earlier clicks in my head. Using a plague marine, a quarter and a Bart Simpsons figure, he explains to me the rules of <laughs> War Machine. Yeah, before you were <laughs> there, I've, I've, I've came across people that use very unorthodox... <laughs> yeah. um, very uh, King's as <laughs> um, I will say I was at a tournament once years ago, and uh, this is when I went to got pods where the big meta in 40k, and I don't know if they still are because I don't really play 40k anymore. But the guy locked up with um, tins of coke to use as drop pods <laughs> in a tournament. Well, look. So um, a Bart Simpson doesn't sound all too bad, to be honest with you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> fuck what. Look, as long as it works, the only problem was the guy started drinking the tins of coke, so he did. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a story for another time, so it is. <laughs> All the while, I'm gagging and constantly trying to scoot my chair farther back from the table to avoid the smell. I make up a story about having to leave. Right as he pulls some BS where all of his guys lurch halfway across the board so that Bart Simpson is ripping my warcaster from behind. Get up and leave. Never come back to the store. <laughs> Fast forward a few years. Move to a coastal town for work and I have my own place. Get tired of the local games workshop after painting two Necromunda gangs. I can't find a game. Yeah, not many people play yeah. Necromunda. It's a shame because it's like a game. Decide to try this game store up north in the town to see what they have. Oh whoa, you guys play War Machine? Joke around with the guy at the counter a bit about the last friendly local game store having an off-putting non-game workshop community. Oh come on, I can't be that bad. Mention Tiny. The dad of the store owner looks over and laughs. The guy behind the counter who has a kick-ass name goes, Yeah, he is sort of infamous in the War Machine community for not bathing to distract his opponents from matches. <laughs> TLDR, he is why I don't play War Machine. <laughs> Oh my god. Honestly, sometimes I do think that's a thing though. But people like actively choosing just not to shower. 
Like, you know, tell me. I think me, it's a life decision at some point. Like, what, what's that meme? What's that meme? It's like, oh, new, new models, 300 pound. And then it's like, dude, we one dollar. It's like, oh, the, tre- oh. The, the treasury could not afford such expenses. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I really enjoyed it. Honestly, see the de- level of degeneracy. It's always, it always makes for a good video, you know. But, uh, look, leave your stories down below and we might make a video on this. Also, also, I don't know if I have or not because I'm speaking before I've edited the video. I may or may not have bleeped the swearing in this. The reason for that is... YouTube's getting pernickety. Yeah, honestly, the last in the... I, I, like, normally our videos don't really get hit all that often. Like, you know, maybe once a fortnight, once every three weeks, you know, and that's fine. You know what I mean? It happens. But um, it's like half of our videos over the past, like, week, you know, or past two weeks, yeah. sorry. So it's just something we might just have to start doing, you know, and it's not something I particularly want to do. It's just a matter of, you know, what YouTube's like. However, however, the un- uh, the uncensored version will be up on Spotify. Woo-hoo! So um, if you want the uncensored version, definitely go ahead and check that one out. Um, and before we love yous and leave yous, leave your comments down below. Let us know about your own uh, degenerate tales. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye! All those moments will be lost in time. Like...